I expected it to be successful. I expected, knowing our audience as I do, um, that this was sort of a perfect uh, little project that, that would totally delight them. It would trigger all of their things that they love. Books have found a new life on Instagram. New York Public Library has the solution. They are now putting entire novels on their Instagram stories. The new series is called Insta Novels. Insta Novels. Insta Novels. Insta Novels. I'm Karina Falusi. I'm the CCO and partner at Mother in New York. And it's the best place to work. <laughs> Maybe yours too. I might fight you for yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Riker Schnorr and I'm the director of digital media for the New York Public Library, which is also the best place to work. So there. And people love in general sort of when the, the library, the New York Public Library at that sort of does something surprising and, and dare I say hip and digital focused. Um, we do those things all the time, but it's still, you know, we've been around a long time and we have a reputation. So when we sort of subvert expectations, I think it really delights people. The reason why, why I like this idea and why it feels so pure and honest and, and is because it's useful and because people used it and because it is such an unusual way of, of using a platform where people are. The irony of using the product called Stories to become a real a story in the sort of traditional sense of it, there was just something really kind of perfect and beautiful about that idea. We knew immediately that it was a, a partnership that would make a lot of sense for us and that it really had, it had legs. We were really excited about it. Good art and design is based off the limitations. You know, that's where you find your creativity, yeah. I feel like, and that, that was definitely the case. I think it is a, a maybe a more subtle or, or humble approach, but it's so simple and solid. Every book drop is thought through at the moment of time, how it fits, or in the choice of author and, and subject. And that, that was really exciting to, to, to gather, think about. There was a practical reason to pacing that it takes us about three weeks to put one book together. I would say 90% of the idea was crafting it. Never before has an entire piece of literature and novel been changed from a a typed font into a picture format, which it needed to be to live on, on Instagram. And the whole effort that went into even the background color, what font do we use? How do you on mobile? How can you read well? What's the size of the font? All of this was a lot, a lot of craft that went into it. I'm proudest of that, that people really finished. Yeah, it really uh, did or how seem many people finished the books. That people were going yeah. through it. I personally was just getting my phone out all day and just watching the followers tick up. And it was, I mean, I'd never seen anything like it. It was really, it was really exciting. I always kind of say it's not followers for followers' sake. Like in the beginning, we just sort of watched all these followers come and it was really exciting. But of course, immediately my partners and I at the library are thinking about what comes next. There's, a, there's still a lot to come what this can hold and can be. And I think that's what I'm really excited about. Yeah, we, I would love to see it grow. The idea has, is so sound that I would be surprised if we don't see it sort of mutating and growing and splitting and splintering yeah. and, and, you know, why not? It's fabulous. The mission is not to have as many Instagram followers as possible. The, Insta the mission is to inspire people to read more and to live a life of learning.